Hello everyone, in this video I will show you how to configure this E16T board work in Home Assistant by ESP Home uh, so that you can use Home Assistant application and the Tuya application at the same time Okay, let's look at how to do this step by step Okay, you can see this is Kinkone E16T because it has Tuya module So this video I will show you how to configure ESP Home and work with the Tuya module to decode it so that can, you can use Tuya application and uh, put it here and this is King Kong Raspberry Pi 4 controller that I have installed the Home Assistant you can see it's an SD card and this time I will use the Ethernet cable you can see just connect it yeah, you can also use the Wi-Fi but uh, this Tuya module will use the Wi-Fi so you can uh, install this Wi-Fi antenna so I just install it also you can use the external Wi-Fi antenna and this is a USB cable and you can see uh, this USB cable have connect with this Raspberry Pi server USB port and uh, not connect to, to your computer USB port it's a Raspberry Pi USB port just where you install the home assistant and the server connect with the USB port with the cable so I can connect with it at this USB port you can see just as this and at last I will power on and uh, this time I will use this DC 12 volt power supply but if you have buy this 24 volt version uh, you can also use a 24 volt power supply and you can see as uh, this is power on and uh, the next uh, we will configure the YAML file in ESP home now let's back to my computer and you can see this is the home assistant dashboard and this is King Kong Lee form uh, so we have post the YAML file okay you can see this is the file this is the code and this is the txt file you can download if you after download uh, you will see this so you just copy all code and paste in your ESP home and here we can create a new device you can see I can click new device and click continue and the name E16T and the next and this board we have designed by ESP32 so I choose this chip and this just skip and you can see uh, this have create the E16T and I can click edit and just select all delete then I can post all my code at here paste at here so you can see that you can direct to use because in this code we have create a 16 channel switch and you can direct it to use and a 16 channel digital input for the binary sensor in home assistant so you can click install and click by USB cable because we have already used a USB cable and click USB part and just wait for a moment that will comply the firmware and download to ESP32 okay now you can see it uh, began right to ESP32 okay this is right complete okay now we can close this window and close it and now this time you can see the E16T board is online so we can go to this setting and go to this device and you will see that have auto discovered the E16T board so we can click config and submit and this is successful we can just finish and we can back to our overview you can see this E16T board have auto list in Home Assistant dashboard and you can see I can turn on, turn on, turn on turn all off and this is all on and this is all off and also we can test with the input uh, input 1, 2, 3, 4 and the 16 channel input we can press this button so you can see I can press this button that input 1 is triangle and this input 2 is triangle and input 3, input 4 
So you can see now it can work in Home Assistant. It's very easy. And then next, we need to uh, configure the Twin app application for E16 T-Bird. Okay, you can see now we can open my Twin application, and you will see this red LED is blink. That is wait to your mobile phone to prepare the SSID and the password. And you can see when I open this application, that will auto discover the E16 T. So I click add. And next. Okay, that have added successfully. You can press down. And now you can see, I can press this button. You can see the relay is on and the press again the relay is off so you can see i can use tuya to open open close close so this is is okay because the tuya mobile phone can remote control by internet uh, you can see if i uh, disable the wi-fi so that i can use the 5g now you can see my mobile phone have switched to 5g so you can see I can also press this button, uh, this is on, and press this button, and this is off. So this time you can see I can use the Tuya mobile phone. Uh, not only I can use the Tuya mobile phone, but also I can use the Home Assistant application. So these two applications can work at the same time. So you can see in my computer, if I press this button, the relay is on, and the computer dashboard also is on. If I press off, uh, this is off and the computer is off and you can see if i turn on my switch on my home assistant pc one two three four so you can see this one two three four relay is open and this tuya switch is open so i can press off by tuya Okay, so you can see that you can use Home Assistant in local network and this Tuya uh, for 5G or 3G or 4G in anywhere on the world. Okay, this is very easy. Thanks for watching.